really just kind of got started into the restaurant business more as, as wanted to, to get away from my father's business and found a, found a way to get in, you know, get away from that and, you know, fell in love with the business and was able to be creative and, you know, learn a lot and just really, really got, you know, taken away from it by then and just developed that into a career. Um, but what really got me into food is when I first started going to New York as a young kid, the restaurants there, it was more than just going out to eat. It was an event, it was a show, the food was art, it was this whole choreography. And there was also some glamour involved with it. And I loved it. That really kind of showed me what food could become. It wasn't just something you filled your body with. The Birth of Table One uh, was kind of spawned out. Jonathan and I had, uh, he moved back from Portland. I had convinced him to, to come back and help me. We were open an iguana and uh, he was he was contemplating moving back. I said, come back, help me get Iguana opened, um, and, and we'll figure out a game plan from there. Um, we knew Iguana wasn't going to be the, you know, the place for him and I to, to hang our, our culinary hats, and, and it just wasn't that style of restaurant, but I needed help getting it open. So he came back, helped me get it open, and the whole time we started game planning. Ideally, what we wanted to do was open you know, a, a restaurant that we, would, that we would hang our culinary hat on and say, this is, this is it. A lot of that it's, it would take a lot of planning, and we're still in the planning stages for that. It's it's a process. We want to do a lot of you know certified organic, a lot of local foods, um, bringing back a lot of things that are native to Oklahoma and using those and incorporating them into the restaurant. But that's a process, and working with all these farmers, sourcing all these ingredients, and getting all that, we needed you know two years to do that. We didn't really have that kind of time frame. We wanted to jump in and start doing something, so we kind of looked at what our options were and decided a catering company was going to be the way we wanted to go. When Ryan and I decided to do a catering kitchen, saw the space, was like, let's put a table in it. Otherwise, one for myself, I didn't want to just do catering. I've never really done catering, in all honesty, and really didn't have a want to do it, but it was an easy way to get us going and, and, and in all honesty, get a paycheck coming in, but being able to be free. Use it as a development stage for our restaurant in the sense that we can test and develop recipes and have other people besides ourselves in here to come in, enjoy them, try them, give us feedback. We can work on developing them, see if they work. And I personally was like, this is gonna bomb. Well, at least we got the catering thing, if people show up, great. Well, now they're showing up a lot, um, which gives me a lot of hope for doing a restaurant, as well as for the culinary community in Oklahoma. You have this one table restaurant, you have two young guys who are, are just doing what they love, you know, for no other reason. It's not, not because, you know, not any other reason than we love what we do and, and we need a place to be creative and you know just as an artist needs canvases to paint on you know we need people to feed and whether it's one table at a time you know or, or more than that you know this is just kind of a point a starting point you know we don't we don't have a menu we don't we don't let the guests choose anything um, we create the menu for that party based kind of on you know some of their tastes seasonal seasonal foods what what's available locally you know all those kind of factors play into it and then we create a menu so it's more of a connection process because it's not like you're ordering something off of a menu and you say oh the buffalo sounds good i'll try that you know it gets delivered to you you taste it and enjoy it this is a connection thing because we've actually prepared this just for you if you give people a menu like well i don't know what um, last night i did a pickled shark parfait of different flavors of you know ceviche so people can be like well, I'm not going to order a pickled shark. You're like, I wouldn't eat order a pickled shark, but it's freaking delicious. That's one of the things that helps it go along is you just feed it to them. And that's where I think a lot of responses come and people eat things they've never had. If, if Table One's saying anything, and I don't want to be bold, but is that the chefs can go out and do something different that people will respond to it. You know, you don't need a, you know, a big, huge piece of meat, a big load of potatoes and asparagus in every dish. You know, you can play around and people will respond. You just have to know what you're doing and do it well. Thank you.